শুভ নবমী সবাইকে অ্যাজ প্রমিসড উই আর ব্যাক এগেন দিস টাইম উইথ টোনি উই উইল স্ট্রেট ওয়ে ইনভাইট টোনি ইন আর অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্ট কোচ বি হেয়ার এনি মোমেন্ট শুভ নবমী সবাইকে আশা করছি সবাই ভালো আছেন সুস্থ আছেন আর খুব আনন্দ করছেন শুভ নবমী সবাইকে জয় ইস্ট বেঙ্গল শুভ নবমী শুভ নবমী আচ্ছা সেটি ফর টোনি হাউ আর ইউ টোনি আ ভেরি গুড ভেরি গুড হাউ আর ইউ আই এম আই এম গুড টোনি ক্যান ইউ হিয়ার মি প্রপারলি আই ক্যান হিয়ার ইউ ইজ দ্য অডিও ওকে ইটস গ্রেট আ উই আর লাইভ উইথ টোনি আ সবাই কি আবার শুভ নবমী আই কুড সে কম অন আ চোক শিবাই that should set the tone just right for a sunday evening chat isn't it uh i mean this is our second episode on instagram live chat obviously we went live with the gaffer yesterday and uh, and as promised tony is here with us how are you tony i mean we are obviously in very difficult times with the uh, isolation we we have been in lockdown for quite a number of days now how are you very good very good it's uh isolation hasn't been as bad as i thought mainly because we're at a beautiful hotel with beautiful scenery so it's been a test but i've actually enjoyed it right uh you are i can see you're wearing the yellow gold coat and, and you're looking dapper in that yeah i quite like it i mean it suits me yeah Uh, yeah it does it does i can see so many comments uh, saying that you are looking absolutely dashing in that maybe next season when the festivals on back in bengal maybe i will come again with and enjoy in the festival with everybody else uh right uh, tony is the sound okay i think a few fans are saying that the sound is not okay is it okay can you hear me properly i can hear you fine yeah fine yeah all right all right uh so tony i mean obviously these are challenging times and and how has it been for for the players if you can shed some light on that how has this period been for the players how how are they coping with the lockdown they obviously all cooped up in their rooms this, this is this is new is this is a new experience for for everyone and every life people have new experiences and football is no no different No, it's not the worst thing that can happen. You know, you're, you're isolated in your room for two weeks with being after a long journey. You have to get on with it. It's, uh, I think the players are getting on with it. They're looking, yeah. forward, to, they're looking forward to finishing and getting on the pitch, which is far off now. They're about five days away. Right. Uh... There is some lag there in the connection, I guess. Um, um, can you hear me properly, Tony? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, what has been the conversation like with the players? I mean, with all the players? Because, I mean, the only way we can communicate with them is virtually. So, how has been 
I've always been in the communication with them. The communication's been fine. Look, you know, there's not that much they can do. They have, they have things to help them. They have um, stretching apparatus and they have some strength work. To, and they're trying to keep the fitness up as much as they can. So we speak to them every couple of days or every other day and make sure they're okay and all the boys are fine. They're just looking for getting on the pitch. Right. And, I mean, we obviously speak every time about the players being in this new normal, players being in lockdown. How has it been for you guys uh, adjusting to this new normal? I think everyone's been... I've quite enjoyed it. I've quite enjoyed being in lockdown. Um, I'm, looking for more, I'm looking more forward to getting on the pitch, obviously. But, you know, as I said before, this is a, this is a challenge. But everyone in life going through challenges not the worst challenge to go in. So, it's been fun. Right. Uh, obviously, now, Tony, we are almost at the end of our quarantine and we all look forward to hitting the ground running. If you could shed some light on how our pre-season would look like after we uh, feel the sun. How the pre-season will look like. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. Yeah, well, you know, we've been, we've worked, we've worked on a certain program and we've had to change the program slightly because obviously we're playing quite early, playing in late November. So we've just made sure all the players tick a lot of boxes, tick the physical box, a technical box, a tactical box, a social box, you know, and we've got a well-rounded program. Me and the man before, plenty of times at other clubs. So, players will be subject to a well-rounded program, which hopefully should stand very good for the first game of the season and for the rest of the season going. Right. Uh, Tony, could you talk about the mental aspect of the players during this quarantine? A lot of fans have been asking, I've got a few questions also, about how the mental makeup of the players during this lockdown. And is there in any way you are helping? Yeah, well, the mental... Football is a huge, a, a huge side, and it's it's an um, it's an area we we have to discover and try try and put stuff in place to help players and help staff. So we have got a program. We have, a, we have an even program. We have an even program. Once 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 we actually get on the pitch, things for players to do just to try and take the mind away from being at home, from being away from loved ones, and to really focus them on the job ahead, which is the football. Um, lots of things we're going to find out will be that's never before in football we've never had to live in bubbles before or live isolated so so long basically we're isolated for four or five months really maybe mm. six mm. so there's going to be some challenges along the way but mm. I think with staff we've got all experienced staff um, and we've all been involved with level all the way up to first team national level so you know we've got staff really care and we really care about the player so I think we're in hand to help the challenges come I think we might, we should have the answers for them Right uh, Tony talking about you I mean this is something I asked the gaffer also yesterday uh, what got you to India and what did what drove you to India and what idea of Indian football did you have before uh, you know, jumping ship. <laughs> we never jump ship. Um, in me, me and the manager are avid watching football globally. We spent many a time watching um, football from Australia, from Japan, from China, from India. So, you know, it's a newish league. It has to grow, and you know, it is growing, and it's be, it, it will. Destination because of the size of the country. I honestly believe with how fanatical the fans are, how many fans there is. I honestly believe with the right ideas, and I think the inclusion of the foreign players is really important to help the Indian player to produce, mm. to mm. help them become better. Mm. So I think going forward. There's so much that this country can offer, and I have held at the foot of it. So, 
as far as all the players go, we're going to be learning a lot about the players um, and seeing what infrastructure they can. As we go, as I say, we, as as we go down the line, we're going to help with the infrastructure, especially at our club, and hopefully other clubs will take note. Right. I've got a few fan questions also. Some want to know. Uh, please tell us something about the for foreign players and how big an impact will they make. This is something the Gag Afro also spoke yesterday and impact which the which the Indian player. Uh, the foreign contingent, the foreign players, and how big an impact will they have on the entire squad and our performance? So, the foreign players. Yeah. You know, what you've got, you've got lads who've been football at um, at a really high level since they've been twelve years old, eleven years old, academy football, and you know this has been ingrained. So they have a lot of. Uh, real positive attributes to offer the team and most of us, the players we bought have all had good careers in football mm. we've got a mm. lot to offer in fact I think to be honest with you, the players we brought in the UK they could easily be playing championship football in, in now yeah. it's, been, it's been a real good for them to, to, to get over them and, and know that all itching to get back on the pitch. Hmm. What they'll bring, they'll bring all their experience and their strength, yeah. their cleverness, hmm. their intelligence. They'll bring... We will improve the Indian player. We will improve the Indian player. Just training with them. The best way of learning, what I found learning, is when you play better players and they have standards. You learn and you listen. You work every day to get better. But it's always better to play with better players. Right. right. Uh, someone is asking that we have got a very really short time to prepare. And uh, do you think, and what do you make of that? Well, it's not ideal. In an ideal world, we want longer. But we're not in an ideal world. Today. Right. So we have, as I said before, we have a, we have a strong program that covers a lot of stuff. Right. Work in morning and afternoon and evening. Right. Players will also recover. So we big believers on recovery. So we will have players who understand the entity, will mm. play a certain way mm. and will be fit and strong. Mm. Hopefully, as the season develops and more games go by, our players should get stronger with that the more games that go by. Right. Uh, talking about the Indian Super League, Tony, and and we have seen uh, previously also a lot of British coaches get success in the Indian Super League. We can talk about John Gregory, uh, David James. Uh, we had Teddy Sheringham also. So, uh, what idea of the Indian Super League have you got from back home and from from your friends back in the UK? And and how have you seen the league grow? The, the league grown. The, the league grown, grown really huge. Usually, at a, at a really short time, really short time. I think, I think these countries who are trying to grow for, I think it's really important that you have the good foreigner coming over to help you. You have to have that. As soon as you're doing that, it's not people. People don't want to see it. People don't really want to see it. In Australia now, they're talking hmm. about not any foreigners over. Nobody will watch it. So. This league now just has to keep growing and getting better and better. And with better players coming in and with the Indians improving and with more world names such as, such as Robbie Fowler coming over, right. it's good for the league. And it can only be good for the Indians. It can only be good for the young boy who's seven or eight or six or nine who watches the football and aspirations of playing in the red and gold. You know, when he sees these good players. So, all these experiences are all, all good for the ISO. Right. Uh, it's still early days and we are here yet to hit the ground running. But what is your assessment of the squad, Tony, if you could uh, share? Yeah, I think we, 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 we've got a squad. We know, obviously, we know the, we know the, the stats we've brought over. We, uh, what 
for us. We know what we know that um, what they're very good at. Some of the, the, the obviously we've not worked with them before, but we've watched them as much as we can watch them. So we have an idea of them. And from first impressions, we're very happy as a staff. We're very happy. So hopefully we can improve all these players even 5% more and we'll be even happier then. Right. Uh, a few questions also coming up. Uh, I mean, obviously, we have got an Indian assistant coach, Kasurera. He's an absolute legend in Indian football. If, 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 if you could say something about him and, you know, what he brings to the table. About who? The manager? Yeah. Ren Renedi, about Renedi, our, our Indian assistant coach and an absolute legend in Indian football. Well, hey, we, you know, he, he, he's been there, he's done it in football. I think Renedi will, will be good for us. I think he can learn from us. He can learn off our... same way the young players can learn off the players. I think Renedi can learn off us. I know he can learn bits off Lemedy. He's part of our staff and, you know, we look, we've, we've met him only by Zoom because we've been in lockdown. We haven't really met him yet. We met Renedi by Zoom call, but he seems a lovely guy. And we're all looking forward to working with Renedi. And he's has a big part to play in our staff. Right. Uh, the talk now, I mean, obviously, uh, we can take a few fan questions as well. Uh, also, I mean, you started your playing career, Tony, Tony with uh, Everton, uh, who are now top of the Premier League table. And what do you think is working for them? Can they win the Premier League this season? You never know in football. Leicester City won it not long ago. So you never know. Um, I think we have a really good manager. I think the club's the club have been a fan for so many years. It's the first time we've had a manager who's because Everton's such a big club. It's such a big, big club. It's the first time we've had a manager everyone gets on side with, everyone loves. And has been there, is very experienced. I think the first time that club or my club has had this type of manager. So I just hope everything carries on going well and the fans stay with the club because we all know football change but I'm sure under this manager we're not going to get better in the in the short period anyway. And hopefully we can stay in a top one, two, three or that will be right. success. Right. Uh, many want to know who you think are the top contenders in the Indian Super League besides us. Because the gaffer has already said that you know who is the toughest team to be asked. That's all. so. Listen, uh, it doesn't really matter because you, every season's different. You know, every season is different. So whoever were the better teams last year, I'm sure they're going to be challenging this year. But you know, the teams who struggled last year, I'm sure they're going to improve for this year. You know, it's a it's a new league. It's a new for everyone. Some players come back from last year, don't try as hard this year. Lots of things that can happen. So, you know, I don't know who's going to challenge us. No. But I'm sure there will be someone who challenge us to be the best. But we will be striving to be the best anyway. Right. This is one fun question which has come from a fan, which also I had in my list. Do you and the gaffer often, often have banter about Liverpool and Everton? But we, we, we've watched plenty of games together and since since we've retired from playing we've seen many games as what is now not as players but my team's never beat them so every time I watch a game be Everton or Liverpool my team's never beat them but this year I think it might be different we've got one more game to play in this year and I think this, this year might be our year I think this <laughs> Sure, sure. Uh, a question uh, from a fan say something about the Indian players. Can they adapt to the playing style in such a short period? Yeah, yeah, of course they can. I mean, our playing style, once they've been introduced to how we cope, what we think, they'll understand that it's, it makes sense. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not a playing style that's from Mars. It's a playing style they'll enjoy to play with. 
we like to have the ball. What, what footballer doesn't want to play with the ball? Hmm. I don't know. So I'm sure they'll enjoy it. That'll be fine for them. Right. Uh, a few more fun questions, maybe. Uh, many are asking about uh, the AFC spot. We really want to get the AFC spot. Uh, we are. We have our fingers crossed. The way. And about the AFC spot, I mean, the, I mean, if we get the AFC spot, if we finish in the playoffs. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, but listen, we're, 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 we're close. Only three weeks there, but our goal is to finish top. You know, that's our goal. But, but we have to, we have to challenge. We have to, we, we, we will be competitive. And yeah, if we can get in them spots, how good would that be? How good? Right. A uh, few more questions. Yeah, there are a few questions probably about the young players in uh, young Indian players. And how big an opportunity is this for them to rub shoulders with some of the seasoned campaigners we have uh, and, and to learn as much as they can from them? Yeah, listen, the, football is always about the future player. We, this, this club, every club in England and every club in the world, we need to have an eye for all the young players coming through. I mean, challenge them, but also to give them opportunity. Now, it's very hard to give a young boy an opportunity straight away unless you see them next week, they're very good. And, you know, all of a sudden, we're not scared of playing any kids or any youngsters, regardless of their age. So, when we were in Australia, I think we played first game we had. We, we gave a 16-year-old boy his debut. So, age is not a barrier for us. It's not a barrier. But in the long run, in the long term, all the youngsters at uh, SC East Bengal, I think we can set up a program for them, and I think we can improve Indian player easily, easily. And and also on that line, there are a few questions on on what plans do you have about uh, the youth development and uh, you know nurturing the academy. Yeah, well, myself, myself, and um, a couple other staff. We're really interested in development. That's where it all starts. I always talk about building foundations, you know. We need to build a strong foundation. And the academy will be the foundation. We've only been here. We're not really here, are we? We're facing something. We've only been here this year. But we've spoke to the club. And at the end of the season, me and the manager will be in Calcutta. And we will have, we're going to have as much as they want us to help. But this club and the size of the area, we should be able to develop players with a 10, 5-year plan, a 10-year plan. Mm. And so what becomes really strong development. Right. And these players, then opportunity will come. And then before you know it, you've produced a future. Great. Uh, Tony, uh, no discussion can be complete without... Uh, talking about he's been on the one I mean he's been on ATK and the and the huge rivalry they have. How are you looking forward? I mean you must be looking looking forward to that and you must have heard a lot of stories about that. About the fans. About uh, the, the rivalry between East Bengal and Bagan, the Kolkata Derby. Yeah, well I've played in myself personally I've played I yes. played yes. the yes. Derby. But yeah. I also played Manchester City. Versus Manchester United, which is a yeah. And then I played for uh, Burnley, Blackburn, a huge derby. Yeah, huge. So, when you come from where we come from, dar derbies are big, big games. And the, the games to relish, really, really look forward to. And they spare you on. There's the fans on. And this <clears> is when <throat> the creators and people talk about these games for years and years and years later. So, we know there's a big rivalry, which is only good. It's great. Great that they've got a rivalry. Some places haven't got a rivalry. So, uh, there is, I think we have lost Tony there. 
I'm sorry guys we just lost uh, I think we're back apologies for the uh, glitch there Tony are you there I think I'm going to bring Tony in again I have to end this and bring Tony again uh one second Uh, yeah, we are trying to get Tony back again. One second. Apologies for... Uh, uh, just bear with us, guys. Yeah, we should be here. Uh, we're really sorry for this technical glitch. You know, uh, again, I'm waiting for Tony to join in. And he should be here in a moment. Yes, we are facing a bit of network issues. There is a power issue at the hotel. Waiting for Tony to join. Thank you, Shubho Nagumi. Try and connect with him again. I'm sending Tony a request again. Uh, just bear with us, guys. This is something unexpected and completely out of our hands. Shubhanavami from London. Shubhanavami to you too. Shubhanavami. Hope you guys are having a really good time. And yeah, we are trying to get Tony in again. a bit difficult with the network here. I'll try one final time. Otherwise, the network issues will get the better of us. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for sticking around. Uh, we're trying our best to bring Tony in. Just that the network is getting better of us at the moment. I think uh, I think we'll have to reconnect again because we're trying to fix the internet connection here. I'm sorry, guys. This is something we this is something beyond our control. Thank you so much for joining, and thank you so much for bearing with us. Uh, we will try and reconnect again. Thank you so much, Shubo Nobomi. Thank you so much.